There are calls for the remains of this man, Joseph Merrick, also known as the Elephant Man, which have been kept at Queen Mary University of London for over a century, to be buried in his hometown of Leicester. Historians are calling for Merrick's skeleton to be given a Christian burial, but Queen Mary says it has no intention of giving him up. Here's Tolu Ade Adeyeo. <laughs> The 1980 film The Elephant Man introduced millions of people to the extraordinary story of the real-life man, Joseph Merrick. In the Victorian times, his severe deformities made him an object of curiosity and ridicule. For much of his life, he made a living from being exhibited in shows. But more than 125 years since his death, he is still on display, his bones kept in a private room at Queen Mary University of London. Some, including Jeanette Sitton, who co-wrote a book about his life, say it's time he was laid to rest. Joseph was a kind person. He was a warm-hearted person. Everyone who met him uh, uh, felt uh, comfortable in his presence, even the nurses that tended him in the hospital. So he was an all-round good guy uh, who suffered greatly. I'd like him to have a final rest in place, and he was a, a devout Christian as well. Um, so I believe that's perhaps what he would have wanted. Joseph was born in Leicester in 1862. His mother is buried in the city and there are also calls from people living there for him to be brought home and buried. He's a famous son of Leicester. Uh, his bones have been used for 120 years for all sorts of uh, medical analysis and things like this and I, I really think it's time he was buried. I think it's absolutely the right thing to do. Um, we've got a fairly famous king here at the moment, but I think Joseph is a bit more famous to the people of Leicester. But Queen Mary University of London say they aren't giving him up. Joseph Merrick's bones can only be viewed by medical students or professionals by appointment. And the university say that after his death he knew he would be preserved and used for medical research and education. And that that's in line with the wishes of his descendants. Joseph's final years were spent in hospital in London. He died at just 27. The official cause was asphyxia. For now, it seems he will remain on display, a source of wonder in death, as he was in life. Tolu Adelier, BBC London News.